Good morning. Um, so I wanted to speak to you guys about manifesting. I think I spoke a little bit about it before, but I wanted to speak to you about it. It doesn't have to be a huge deal. Now, I love rituals. I'm a ritual queen. <laughs> if I do say so myself. I love rituals. And the reason why I love rituals is because it brings intent focus on what you are creating or it brings an intense honoring of what you are expressing. So I think that rituals are the most magnificent things ever on the planet. Why I like them and why I feel that they work for manifesting and attracting what you're up to or for you know, just really solidifying a milestone or acknowledging it, it's because you are bringing intense focus. You are bringing you know that energy to it so for instance um, I have a, a friend who says well I never see you doing rituals unless it's a big ritual and you're inviting people and you do a big thing and I said no I do rituals all the time every day they just don't look like rituals but they are rituals to me or um, I remember my daughter saying oh that's a spell you're putting on a spell um, but simply when I start my day and I'm having a cup of tea because I'm a tea girl. I love tea. Um, when I'm having my cup of tea, making it is a ritual for me. And when I'm making the tea, I'm actually setting the tone and intention and focus for that day. So literally, I choose the cup. Okay, yes, I'm a little OCD. People don't know this about me. <laughs> I have a little bit. Um, I choose the cup that reflects the mood that I'm in the day. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm telling you this. I have no idea. Um, and I get the cup and then I choose the tea. And I have a vast assortment of herbal teas because like I said, I love teas. Um, my favorite right now is a vanilla bourbon rooibos. Ah, delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay, back to the subject. Um, I choose the tea, I scoop it out. As I'm scooping it out and placing it in my tea ball or whatever I'm using, I am focusing on the nutrients, the herbal properties, and what I'm gonna receive, and the gratitude I am having for being able to take it in. And then as I am pouring the water, which is life, right? I'm pouring the water and I'm asking for the properties in the water to mix and to awaken and to become alive for me to receive. And then, uh, if I use, I don't usually use sugar or anything, but if I do, I put uh, honey or so, agave or something in it and a little coconut milk. And then as I'm stirring, this is the part. You stir clockwise, right? Don't ask me why. I don't have time for all that right now, but you're stirring clockwise because that's the way you stir if you want to create something happening, okay? All right, so you stir it clockwise, and as you're stirring it clockwise, you are focusing on what you want to do, what you want to happen, what you want to create, the feeling, the experience, the vision, all of that while you're stirring your cup of tea. And it helps if you smile at the tea, just a little smile. You don't get to go full on grin, but just a little smile. That really helps. And then you tap the glass, the cup, three times. There you go. That's my little witch hazel moment magic for you today to set your intention. You can do it anytime. I just happen to do mine in the morning. Have a blessed day.